Star Wars child actor Jake Lloyd is in a mental health facility after suffering a psychotic break. Cast by George Lucas when he was just eight years old, Jake played young Anakin Skywalker in 1999's Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace. Are you an angel? What? An angel. I heard the deep space pilots talk about them. They're the most beautiful creatures in the universe. They live on the moons of Diego, I think. You're a funny little boy. How do you know so much? I listen to all the traitors and star pilots who come through here. In the film, he acted alongside Hollywood stars such as Natalie Portman, Liam Neeson, and Ewan McGregor. Now Jake's mother, Lisa Lloyd, reveals the actor has been admitted into a mental health rehabilitation facility. She tells Scripps News in an article published March 11th, As a mom, you're just pulling your hair out because your child needs help. You know that he's sick. Jake, who was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia in 2008, according to Lisa, left the public eye early in his career amid negative reaction to The Phantom Menace. However, his mom shuts down the notion that the criticism played a role in his mental health journey. She tells Scripps News, it would have happened anyway. I believe that it was genetic, and his psychiatrist also agrees that Jake was going to become schizophrenic. E! News has reached out to Lisa but has not heard back. She notes that Jake started showing concerning behavior while in high school when symptoms of schizophrenia often begin to develop, according to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. She explains he started talking about realities. He didn't know if he was in this reality or a different reality. I didn't really know exactly what to say to that. Lisa says she took her son to see a doctor who first believed he may have bipolar disorder. But after graduating high school, a series of appointments with more mental health professionals led to his official diagnosis. She recalled that last year, the 35-year-old had a mental break while the two were in the car. Jake ultimately entered a facility where he's currently into his 18-month stay. Lisa says, he's doing much better than I expected. He is relating to people better and becoming a little more social, which is really nice. It's kind of like having more of the old Jake back because he has always been incredibly social until he became schizophrenic.